Hey everyone, my name is Jordan. Um, I am currently homeschooling my five-year-old son due to the corona outbreak in New York. Um, so I'm here to do lesson five of the homeschooling thing for today. Uh, in case you're not following my page, I'm doing homeschooling lessons for uh, preschool age children, like lesson plans um, to set up for parents to kind of make this whole thing easier on all of us. Um, but lesson five today is creating this really cute crafty unicorn that I found online. Um, goes with the whole you theme. And I'm just gonna turn you around real quick. That's the, uh, the unicorn there. Um, definitely not super hard. You just kind of, like in my case, I cut out the stuff ahead of time that way my kids would, uh, or my, my five-year-old at least, wouldn't have to go through that, um, that process. So last night when he was sleeping, I went ahead and grabbed some construction paper and cut out the, um, the shapes involved. Uh, I had my little one here trying to hand me a remote. Okay, so what I did first was I cut out the letter U that you need for that unicorn. Um, you'd place the unicorn head on here and as you can see like I pre-cut the strips and everything give the unicorn his little legs Um, so in the picture, it looked like his feet were a little bigger than his legs. So I went ahead and did the same thing. And all I did was really cut out the bottom of the construction paper, uh, into a strip and then cut four, um, basically squares out of that, stacked them together, and then just cut the little triangle. Um, so they were all uniform. You don't have to do that. You could do it individually. It's your kid's project. You're going to be proud of what they do no matter what, obviously. Um, and then we add on the unicorn tail. And just kind of like overlap it a little bit, not too much. Obviously, I'm not gluing it down because my son will be doing this later. Um, and you just kind of like, you know, let it trail down a little. It's a tail. Um, and I, I'm doing this one-handedly. I am holding the um the camera and then the same thing up top for his little mane um it actually looks like I think you're supposed to do it behind here I might have cut my strips um a little long if that's the case I could just tuck them back there because it's going to be covered up by his head anyway and just kind of continue to stack it and that whole rainbow thing you can go over the Roy G. Biv Colors of the Rainbow um, a little bit in this lesson. I think we're color short possibly here. Um, and I just realized I'm missing my green strips. Yes, I did have them somewhere. Uh, again, not like a huge requirement, but they did exist. Not quite sure where I put them. Then I'm doing the unicorn's head. And we're missing an eyeball, which apparently got slid around somewhere. Oh, there we go. And little eyeball placement, and there you go. So that's your uh, your unicorn project. Super easy. Um, sorry, not a professional videographer. Uh, I'm on, planning on just letting him use a glue stick to glue the stuff on. Um, he'll be excited to be able to do that himself. And obviously the unicorn's body is in the shape of you, as you can see. So it's totally relevant. Not only does the unicorn start with you, but it is the shape of the you. Um, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions on something that you'd like to see, I am doing uh, five lessons a day, um, touching upon the letters, uh, the sounds that they make, tracing them. Fun little activity, get a little fine motor skill going on there. Um, I do activities with Play-Doh, all that good stuff. If your kid is frustrated or you're frustrated, this isn't mandated, obviously. Um, take a break. Uh, it's not a huge deal. Come back to it, revisit it, because um, I know it's hard. We're all like cooped up, especially where I'm at. Um, everyone is you know, not really allowed to leave the house unless it's essential. 
Um, so it's easy to kind of get on each other's nerves. But they're kids and this is new for all of us and it's a new routine for all of us. Um, but that's the Unicorn Project. Follow me on Facebook. It's Jordan's Couponing Tips and Tricks and it's Jordan, J-O-U-R-D-A-N. I'll post a link at the bottom. And again, I'm doing different lessons for preschool age children every day. So um, my youngest one is uh, two and a half. So I'm trying to like get him involved a little bit super hard at that age. Um, I'm also doing name traceables. So my son can learn to trace his name. So if you're somebody that's in need of that, um, just reach out to me. I can do it up for you real quick and send you the file. Um, just trying to keep the kids in mind and all of this. I know that none of us are born teachers or anything like that. I have um, two degrees not relevant to teaching, uh, but we're all figuring this out together. It's a learning curve. Um, and as you can hear, my little one loves puppies. So again, follow me on Facebook, subscribe to YouTube, share the video. It's a cute little craft project. Um, even if it's not letter U week, you can find this somewhere in the future. Little craft project for unicorns. Okay, great. Thanks, guys.